Welcome back to the studio. Um, I was doing a quick search today for stuff to talk about, you know, maybe some Star Wars news that wasn't spoilers for Episode Nine because I want to keep that. I want to go in with fresh eyes and uh, judge it on my own, right, without seeing all these spoilers and whatever. So I hop online today, try to find a uh, story to talk about, and what do I see? Freddie Prince Jr. epic rant is a thing of beauty. Sit down, shut up, and let Freddie Prince Jr. explain the entire whatever. Freddie Prince Jr. unleashes an epic rant against Star Wars fans. A lot of you say uh, Star Wars toxic fans, which when when the media talks about toxic Star Wars fans, they're actually talking about Star Wars fans like us, like, you know, whoever's watching this right now. And Star Wars fans, are, of course, aren't happy with the direction that Disney... Lucasfilm is taking Star Wars right now, so I uh, I figured I'd go go in here and we'd we'd watch this and I will um, yeah I'll take down each of these points and show you why he's he looks like an absolute buffoon right here. I did a Star Wars cartoon, so even I get hate from Star Wars fans when I'm like, look, dog, you're just mad the franchise isn't aging with you. Right. Okay, so his his first point, he's saying, you know. I got hate from Star Wars fans because I did a I did a Star Wars cartoon. I'm a victim too, bro. Where's the Star Wars hate coming from? Where where are you getting hate? Oh, I know. Maybe maybe it's because maybe it was after the first tirade that you went on against Star Wars fans that you probably started getting hate. You know, I think maybe you should take that into consideration that maybe the first shots fired were yours. Right. But that ain't how it works. The first one was for fucking kids. Right. Yep. The second three. We're for different fucking kids, mm -hmm. and this one is for kids. You just pissed off that Han Solo gave the fucking Millennium Falcon to a girl. All right, tough guy. First one was for fucking kid. For, uh, so we have tough guy Freddie Prince Jr. here, right? <laughs> throwing around the f bomb like, uh, like it helps, it helps to put that point across because it's for fucking kids. Well, I'll show you. Um, after a quick search, I mean, <laughs> okay. First of all, let's go to George Lucas's actual words here. One of the questions um, George Lucas was asked in this Rolling Stone article was, how do you explain a Wookiee to a board of directors? He says, you can't. And how, how do you explain a Wookiee to an audience? How do you get the tone of the film right so it's not just a silly child's film? Right? He said it's not just a silly child's film. It's not just for kids. You know what movie is for kids, Freddy? Scooby-Doo the movie. That's that's a kid's movie, okay? Now, that doesn't mean that Star Wars isn't family-friendly, which, you know, of course it is. One of the first scenes, an alien getting his arm chopped off, right? Um, Han shoots first in the original movie, which is, you know, how it should be. He freaking blasted Greedo a hole in his freaking chest. That looks like a piece of, like, sushi or something, but... Wampa Monster, right? Got his arm cut off, too. Lots of people getting their arms cut off. Luke Skywalker gets his hand cut off. C-3PO dismembered. Women killed for pleasure, right? This poor uh, toilet gets gets basically fed to a uh, rancor here. I better not. Whatever. I better not play that. But anyway, yeah. You know what happens. Come on now. Carbon freezing, graphic, you know, strangulation, right? Poor job of the hut got strangled. This was a pretty uh, adult scene to me. I mean, I, I guess he's talking about the original movies, but I would probably disagree with that, that it was, you know, made for children. He wanted to make it for family audiences so people would come out. And he says that here in this in this article. Um, but let's go on to see what he says next here. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Because Luke Skywalker is Cinderella. Or Sleeping Beauty. Yeah. Here's another one. Talk to things that don't speak English and understands what they're fucking saying. <laughs> yeah. He gets a fairy godmother <laughs> instead of a fairy godmother He's who teaches him how to be the best Jedi in the world in no time fucking flat. And everybody... No. Okay. Okay. So he says uh, Luke Skywalker was was a Mary Sue too, basically is what he's saying. You know, he learned to be the greatest Jedi in no time flat. I think you need to go back and watch the movies again, buddy, because... Uh, he wasn't a great Jedi in Empire Strikes Back. You know, he he didn't finish his training, which he actually had training from uh, Yoda, right? Which Ray didn't have any kind of training at all. No training at all. All right, and uh, I also wanted to talk about this first point. He says, fans are pissed because, you know, all these Star Wars fans are pissed, are fucking pissed because Han Solo gave the Millennium Falcon to a fucking girl, right? <laughs> Let me show you something. I'm a Star Wars fan and a collector. I still have yet to do a, uh, a Star Wars collection video, but let me show you a couple things from my personal collection there, Freddy, you know? Okay, Jyn Erso, right? That was a great movie. I bought the figure. 
Was I pissed because it was a girl? No, I didn't give a shit. I got a figure array when episode 7 first came out. You know why? Because I thought, I thought she had a lot of potential. I thought she had, um, you know, I, I thought that they were going to make make a good story, right? It was kind of a clone, right? Of course, everyone says, of course, it is kind of a clone of episode 7, but um, I thought Ray had a lot of potential, and I, I bought the figure, man. I was pissed that it was a girl, bro. One, two. Another, another Ray figure, right? I haven't bought your figure, man. <laughs> I bought your figure, Kanan. Like, I know more about the Force than most people because Dave Filoni taught me and George Lucas taught him. Right, because you're the third in line to be uh, George Lucas's predecessor, right? Yeah, what, what what the hell is this guy even talking about? He's a voice actor. He memorizes lines and he spews them out on on a on a mic like I'm doing right now. And all these videos, see what he says about the force. people up on what the force is. Like Luke's skill doesn't dictate whether he wins or loses. Right. The Emperor doesn't dictate whether he wins or loses. The force dictates who wins or loses based on balance. And here's the the, no skill the, involved, the, the right? quick version of how to explain it to all these people who fucking think they get to decide. In the first fuck, if you want to do this like time-wise, Palpatine, you would say, and Yoda are the smartest too. Palpatine clearly smarter because Yoda was blind to the power of the dark smartest side and the seduction of, of Anakin. So let's talk about the seduction of Anakin fucking Skywalker for a second. <laughs> he said, if the he said another, is the he smartest said another in the universe and knows that the Force dictates this, if he kills who he sees as a rival, Anakin, then he knows the Force is just going to fucking correct that because the Emperor knows this. These are George Lucas's words, not mine. So fuck you if you disagree. <laughs> With me. Straight, straight up, this is information, not affirmation time. Straight up, man. So the Emperor knows that. So instead of killing Anakin, what does he do? Yeah, that's true. The Force balances itself. Anakin yeah, yeah, it to balances the strength itself. strength of the dark side. So then what does the Force do? That's a good point. It balances us. How? It gives mm -hmm. us twins, Luke and Leia, two and fucking two. Balance. And if you look at the That's movie true. through That's just true. that simple Balance. perspective, you will not only know why every single bad guy loses and every single good guy loses, you'll know who's going to win and lose in the next fucking movies. I can tell you, I just don't want to wreck hold it. On, hold on. People bitch about the dumbest shit like it's archetype characters. This is George Lucas's words. There is no Jack Bauer in Star Wars. That character doesn't exist. It's not Han Solo. All right. Um, so he talks about, you know, good guys loses, bad guys loses. Um, the whole entire premise of Star Wars is good, good versus evil and good, good always wins. Right. I mean, there are the trials that we're going to talk about later that the hero goes through, the good guy hero goes through. But in the end, it's about good versus evil. And uh, yes, it's about the balance of the force, but he, he, he goes on to kind of wreck his own argument here in a minute. Han Solo's a reluctant hero, okay? He's a reluctant hero. That's the archetype. Darth Maul, who everybody wants to win, and he's everyone's favorite because he looks sick and he's great in the video games. He does look cool. Fuck you guys! He's Sisyphus! He is born to fail. These guys are freaking like... Greek mythology like, I don't know, George fucking Lucas did. He's cursed to roll a boulder up the hill only to have it roll to the bottom again every single time yes. for right, eternity. Yes. That is Darth Maul's yes. quest. Yes. He's yes. Good. 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 He knows it. He's just cursed to live that life again. Use your like anger. Him. George Lucas is. So go fuck yourself if you disagree. Oh, you okay, don't bro. level up in the Star Wars. All right, hold on, hold on. Before we go there you know he says learn your greek mythology bro okay let's 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 go look at some greek mythology how about that here let's look at a uh pattern in greek mythology that was discovered by joseph campbell you probably know what it is by now because everyone talks about it. it's called the hero's journey right um so the hero which which is was luke skywalker and now it's ray okay the the hero's journey is pretty simple right uh, call to adventure, supernatural aid, cross the threshold into the unknown. So those three things mean um, the hero is called to adventure. Something happens in their normal life that they need to go on some kind of quest or adventure, something like that. They get supernatural aid, which would be, you know, the force in these stories. Uh, cross the threshold into the unknown. They travel away from their home and then they get the mentors, the helpers, which of course for Luke was... Obi-Wan and Yoda uh, and for Rey would be Han Solo right uh, Han Solo was really her mentor now the problem that we have Mr. Greek mythology with uh, the new movies is Trials Trials is right in the middle it actually comes twice I don't know why it's not twice on this list but yes yes the Trials um, 
Luke Skywalker had to go through quite a few trials. You know, he went through his training with Yoda. He uh, left too early. He left his training too early, and he lost to Darth Vader and got his hand chopped off, right? He's he's had his trials. He's lost battles. That's what trials are, okay? Uh, in Greek mythology, at least, you know, let's let's stick to Greek mythology here. Um, since he wants to, he wants to be a smartass about it. <laughs> so, what trials did Rey go through? What trials did Rey go through so far? Mm. Well, in the first movie, she she won her battle against the highly trained Kylo Ren. Right? <laughs> she whooped his ass in that movie. Uh, she kicked Luke Skywalker basically on the ground and almost beat him. You know, Master. Grandmaster Luke Skywalker, she, and then she won it a second time against against Snoke and Kylo Ren at the end of The Last Jedi, right? So, all she does is win. That's one of the huge problems with, with where Star Wars is going right now, with The Last Jedi, uh, is because this part, one of the most important parts in the hero's journey, the trials, is not there, okay? Uh, then it goes on, you know, revelation, transformation, Rey, Rey hasn't transformed at all. Luke Skywalker, if you look at, you know, A New Hope Luke Skywalker compared to Return of the Jedi, he's completely different. He's a completely different character. Uh, nothing about him is the same, almost. And then Atonement, Return from the Unknown, and Return to a Normal Life. I'm actually still holding out hope that they're going to put all this, all this in the last movie, but that's probably not going to happen. I thought I'd give you a quick lesson there on uh, basically the patterns that are seen in Greek mythology, right? And the, the archetypes, the archetype of the hero has to go through this transformation. And we're not seeing that. Well... World. That's a fucking video game. There's no such thing as a gray Jedi. Hold on, hold on. Why, for eternity. Yes. That is Darth Maul's quest. Yes. He's yes. in on the joke, you guys. He knows it. He's just cursed to I'd live I'd say that Darth life. Maul was more Again, of a trial for Not my opinion. Right George Lucas. Not my opinion. So go fuck yourself if you disagree. You don't get to level up okay, tough guy. in the Star Wars world. That's a fucking video game. There's no such thing as a gray Jedi. Look at his face. It's all red. I turn towards the his light face is, because so it's angry. there. Why is he so angry? He's so angry. Look at him. He's 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 an angry little man. His next point is saying that gray Jedi don't exist. It's a fan fiction fiction, right? Uh actually it wasn't canon. It wasn't canon before Disney threw out all the all the all the books, all the canon that you know, that kept Star Wars alive through through all the all the dark times, right? Um since from episode 6 to to now, basically till till episode 7 when there were no no movies or shows or anything. There was just the video games and the books, right? That's all we had, uh, and that was all thrown away by this this wave of of people here. So, all right, let's let's see what he says here. Hey, you don't get to level up in the Star Wars world. That's a fucking video game. There's no such thing as a gray Jedi. Oh, leveling up. Luke Skywalker leveled up, bro. Luke Skywalker leveled up uh, twice. In both movies, he leveled up one time. So, I don't know what you're talking about, dude. These guys have a major boner for for, for this rant right now. Look at that. Look at those hands. Eh! There's no there! I love that that shot, actually. It's great. Eh! Hey! There's no... That's, that's pretend fan fiction shit, which is cool, but don't try to canonize it, because it doesn't work, and I'm never going to buy it, ever. Star Wars is for fucking kids. Sorry. I'm yeah, sorry. Man. That was incredible. That was incredible. That was just that was beautiful, dude. That was beautiful, bro. You really made me feel like my man boner and stuff. Jeez. <laughs> Star Wars is for fucking kids. All right. Great. Great argument, man. But basically those were the only points that he made in this in this whole rant was uh, you know, Star Wars fans are toxic. I'm a victim and it's for fucking kids. And I know the Force better than you, right? He knows the Force better than Star Wars fans. I think the only good point he made there was that there's balance in the force, which I don't know how that's an argument against anything that's that's um, that's being said by real Star Wars fans. It takes more than just the balance of the force. If that was the case, Yoda would have just sent Luke straight to the Death Star and had him assassinate Darth Vader and, and the Emperor, right? To bring balance to the force, or one of them. It takes training, which Rey got none of. Sorry. 
And I don't know why he's asserting himself again. I don't know why he's lashing out at these fans again. It's the people like us that support his his, his shows and his uh, merchandise that he's lashing out against. I don't know why. He seemed very angry, very, very angry in that video. Freddie, you're not a tough guy, okay? You're an actor and you're a, a voice actor at that now, nowadays. So stop acting tough. Stop, stop cussing at the fans, dude. Just, what's your problem, man? <laughs> like... I don't know what, why you have to yell your points in order to try to make a point, but, you know, screaming and cussing doesn't doesn't make a point. It doesn't make you right. So I just thought I'd put my two cents in about that, and uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know if I'm wrong, if I'm right, whatever. I'll see you on the next video.